Nigeria's economy moving in the right direction, UN envoy Amina Mohamed. The Deputy Secretary General of the United Nations, Amina Mohamed, has said that Nigeria's economy is moving in the right direction. First of all, Nigeria's economy, first, let me even, South, the Southern Nigerian, like, let's make this specific here, like, let's, let's call the Southern Nigerian economy <clears throat> is moving in the right direction. It has always been. The problem is our leaders do not know how to manage an economy because at the end of the day, Nigeria has the highest GDP in Africa. And like, we, we, apart from the fact that we import so many unnecessary things, we haven't even gone through a process of industrialization where we make our own things and we export. So how, where, international revenue, where's it coming from? We have, exactly. So it's not that we can't, but the people who are able, who control the funds, who have government tax revenue, they do not even try to industrialize the country to make more money. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Nigeria, it has always, the people make the economy. If, if the people make the economy. The southern Nigerian economy is moving in the right direction it has always been the leaders do not know and are not capable of making sure that this country is economically stable because they make honestly very questionable decisions for people who have gone to university for people who have been professors of nah it's bad it's very very bad it's embarrassing well mohammed who was speaking during a meeting at the headquarters of the federal minister of Federal Ministry of Industry, Trade and Investment in Abuja said the challenges in Nigeria were huge, but describes the country economy with great as great with lots of opportunities. See, that's the annoying thing. That's the annoying because we know what we are. I don't understand why would we be talking about about our economy with words like opportunities or the word that I very much dislike, potential. Excuse me. No, 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 no. We've been had potential. Bruv, even the northern part of the country that's as dry as anything has potential. But still, so that's the annoying thing. You see, it's the leaders. It's you, Miss UN woman, you know it's the corruption that's making the country very, very bad. The GDP being good. The economy being good. They just don't know. We make the economy, okay? The people in the country, the citizens, work hard. Consumer expenditure is high, even though we're importing a lot of stuff. It just doesn't make sense sometimes. But... Because people in power who are able to make really, really dry, really, you know, heavy decisions that would affect generations to come, they're not doing anything. In fact, they're getting into more debt, but it's fine. She comes and she says, but these are its strengths, not weaknesses. And I think the narrative for Nigeria has to change to one that is very much the reality. She claimed that after traveling by train through various roads in the northern part of the Nigeria, she discovered that roads were motorable, although there were ongoing repairs on some of them. Speaking on her trips across part of Nigeria, she said, what I saw a long way was a way is a, is really a country that is growing, that is moving in the right direction, both economically. Is it fast enough? No. Is it in the right direction? Yes, it is. The Minister of Industry, Trade and Investment, Adeni Adebayo, said the Nigerian government was working hard to make <laughs> the Nigeria make Nigeria the entrepreneurial hub of Africa. He stated that before the end of the first quarter of 2021, there should be a document on the government's investment policies as efforts were ongoing to take Nigeria out of its mono economy. Yeah, sure, sure. You know what? I'm not even gonna put all my 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 vent to this woman because obviously she's obviously being paid. Um, yeah, the continuous lies about prove it to us, prove it to us. Prove it to us that you have policies, please. And the fact that Nigeria is a mono economy, <laughs> like when we say that, like majority of revenue is from oil, like that is very, very bad, very, very bad. Someone says she was the one, she was one of the money bag that financed presidential Buhari's presidential election in 2014, 2015 as an appointee under Jonathan. Politics in Nigeria is useless as anything you can describe. Nigeria economy is moving in the right direction while finance minister is talking about borrowing every time to execute infrastructure again we hear the same stories every single time infrastructure 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 the country honestly needs to be industrialized and it's it's bad enough as when we were colonized the when 
our resources were literally in the hands of the British, they were like, nah, this country, Lord Lugard especially, was not in favour for the country to be industrialised. In fact, all the raw materials were taken out, manufactured in their countries, and then sold back to us. And it just doesn't make sense. So I think we need to break out of that, that cycle because it really does not make sense. Someone here says, a woman like you formulating words that will lead to your destruction. Why wouldn't you support your brother Buhari for the havoc he has committed? Exactly. Please. The problems with Nigeria is lack of patriotism for the nation called Nigeria. You need to understand on what basis was the country found. You can't be blaming Nigerians for not being patriotic. We don't like... We're not meant to be Nigeria. Like, if you look back, we're not we're not meant to be here. Because it's like, the lack of... Why should we be patriotic about a country that's not yours? It isn't. Like, the country is not one. And it's like, we can't keep deceiving ourselves that we, we like each other. Our ideologies are the same. Like, we're just too diverse. Like, it's, diversity is fine. But, like, comparing with the North and the South, we're just too, too different. I don't even know how we officially push this idea that we run a democracy because it I don't know what system is like it doesn't make sense. So it's like patriotism for what? Why should Nigerians be patriotic when the foundations as to how the country was built was on trade? Doesn't make sense. The people just found the people are just like, okay, we are colonized, we want our independence, we now have to be like one Nigeria. And Nigeria is not even Nigeria, like Nigeria was named, we're literally named by a white man and we're called Nigeria. Like a white man came, colonized, drew up lines and said, you are Nigeria. Does that make sense? Exactly. So we, it's like, not that we don't know, but it's like, you can't expect people who just, who just happened to be citizens of a country that they don't understand its runnings to be patriotic. Why? What values do we hold together? It's a different thing. Like we, 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 we there are multiple languages. That, like, that does not make sense. Like it's not like it's a bad thing. There can be variations of one language, fine, and which is what most countries have. But it's like with most countries, your ethnicity is your nationality, and they always match. But then you, as a Nigerian, your nationality is not your ethnicity. It's just too too diverse. And it's a, it's like there can be very variations in languages, but there's just so many tribes that even we currently don't even know of but they're in nigeria so yeah this patriotic whatever whatever nigerians don't have any any obligation to be because it's not their country someone came and named us nigeria we when in fact assignment for you guys put what what the meaning of nigeria is in the comment section below yeah when you find out what <laughs> yeah find out what the name nigeria means put that in the comment section below and do not forget to like and subscribe.